Wait, go back. You came out here to follow a man. Harvard Law was just part of that plan. Man, what rich romantic planet are you from? Malibu. Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I have. Oh, why'd you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums, guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass, worked two jobs in addition to class, so forgive me for not weeping at your tail. Well, excuse me, just because you've got some kind of chip on your shoulder. You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With the chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell. I'm so close, I can taste it, so I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder. You might want to get one as well. <laughs> Guess she got a chip on her shoulder. Maybe some wise man told her. With the chance we've been given, we gotta be driven as hell. She was something to see there. I'm just happy I could be there. First big test and she aced it. She's so close she can taste it. And the chip on her shoulder. Guess you never can tell. So I'm sure someone will be happy to uh, show you. It's right over there. Second building on the left. Oh, thanks. Uh, but I don't think dogs are exactly allowed in class. Oh, <laughs> Bruiser's not a dog. Bruiser's family. I'll just drop him off in my room. He'd be happier there anyway. Bruiser loves days of our lives. Hm. I'll see you later then. Emmett, I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me the alibi. I can't because I gave Brooke my word. Having an alibi isn't the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. It will work with me. It will free Brooke the right way. The noble way. This isn't a Lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not interested in nobility right now. I'm interested in saving Brooke's life. No, you're not. You're more interested in impressing Callahan. Well, he is my boss, and if I impress him, he might make me associate. And jeopardize your client's trust in our integrity? Well, when you put it that way... Exactly, you butthead. My word means something. I know yours does too. Nobody's called me a butthead since like the third grade. <laughs> Maybe not to your face. Come on, let's get out of here. Why do you always have to be right? I don't have to be. When I'm with you, I just am. Oh. Hey, if you want to impress Callahan, I can help. Okay, how? Listen, I love your scruffy vibe, but Casual Friday is so not in Callahan's vocabulary, and you have to dress the part if you want to get ahead. Elle, didn't your mother ever teach you about not judging a book by its cover? Well, she did, and books with tattered covers stay on the shelf. Thanks a lot. Emmett, this isn't a perfect world. Think people haven't judged me my whole life? Think it wasn't a good idea to make Navy my new thing? Oh, no, that was a good idea. I know. Where are we going exactly? You trust me, don't you? Of course. Then don't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> 